Getting around Maine without a car isn't an easy task, but some bigger cities like Lewiston, Auburn, and Portland offer public transportation. Bangor offers a bus service and big changes are underway to it. Sean Stackhouse tonight shows us the Community Connector's new routes and how more changes are coming down the road. Routes are changing next week for drivers and riders of Bangor's Community Connector bus service. More service to Outer Union Street. We're going to offer uh, roadside service to Job Corps. We're going to offer service to PCHC and East Remain Healthcare Mall. Community Connector Superintendent Lori Linscott is excited for the changes. In addition, there will be access to the Mount Hope Veterans Home and more frequent service. Route changes can all be found online at bangormain.gov. The, the more convenient it is, the more popular it is. But for a group of regular bus riders, next week's changes only resolve a handful of issues they have with the service. Just ask Lisa Feldman, who's been riding the community connector since she moved to Orono in the 70s. Really a test of your commitment. It's, it's not always convenient. Feldman is part of a group called Transportation for All, who advocate for better, more accessible service. Ahead of the city's new transportation study, Feldman thinks now is the time for better service. This is really a great time for us to invest in public transit. People want better public transportation in our region. Darcy Cook is the community organizer for Transportation for All. Some of the group's goals are full weekend service and extended hours into the evening. But Monday's change gets the wheels moving. Yeah, I hope that this is just the first small step on a path. A path the community connector hopes to travel to. I mean, we're doing better things every day, but um, great things are coming. Results from Bangor's transit study are expected in the coming weeks. In Bangor, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine.